welcome to Thursday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. And after doing Ard van der Weethering yesterday, today we turn our attention to one of the other absolutely amazing setters in the world of puzzles, Fist of a Fell. And a puzzle actually I should have done, well, probably a month ago or, or more. Um, I've been very late getting to this. It's called Checkered Aromino Number 2. And I've done Checkered Aron Aromino. Uh, uh, yes, check out Aromino um, on the channel. Uh, I'll try and remember to put a link to that to that that video if you've not not watched it. Um, and uh, and then, well, this this puzzle came out, and I think Fistmafell released another one, which was a Sudoku puzzle, and I've done that on the channel. And I said we'd come back and do check out Aromino, um, but I, but I haven't done it until today. So today I am going to have a go. And we'll see. We'll see whether I can crack it. So this is, this is if you like the full version that the that Checkered Romano number one was sort of um, I don't know teasing, and this has a 100% approval rating on Logic Masters Germany and the dreaded five stars out of five for difficulty. So it's probably monstrously hard. Uh, you'll be able to judge better than well. You'll be able to judge a bit, assuming I can solve it at all by having a look at the length of the video. But I am anticipating this being a lengthy, lengthy solve. Um, so wish me luck. Uh, now, do I have any news for you today? I don't think I do. Um, I haven't got any birthdays. Um, there was something else I wanted to mention. I think it was about Fistemafel, but I can't remember what it was. That is extraordinarily remiss of me. Uh, no, I don't know what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please subscribe. Please support us on Patreon. Please buy our apps. There you go. That, that, it wasn't that that I was trying to remember, but I have to say something. Um, so why don't we, why don't we turn our attention to just um, having a go at the puzzle, um, and we will see what the great man has constructed for us. No doubt, some web of absolute mastery. Uh, now, what I've got is I've got the rules obviously on the screen, but I also snipped uh, over on Logic Masters this example puzzle. So we're going to have a look at this uh, as we read the rules to see if we can understand how, how they work. And also I need to basically remind myself because although I've done one of these puzzles before, it's literally one puzzle and it was about three months ago. So you have to forgive me if my familiarity is not encyclopedic. Uh, but these are the rules. We have to divide the grid into ominos, brackets, regions of orthogonally connected cells. Let's just deal with that for a moment. So, um, Orthogonally connected means shares an edge. So these cells, for example, they are orthogonally connected. Those cells are not orthogonally connected. Although these two cells do touch at a point, uh, they don't share an edge. So we can make the purple orthogonally connected by adding in a cell like this one. So the first job is to divide the grid into ominos regions of orthogonally connected cells so that no two ominos of the same size share an edge. So this is classic phenomeno rule. So if, if these two were regions, we would have broken the puzzle because this has five cells in it and this has five cells in it and they share an edge. So that's jolly naughty and we mustn't do that. Um, each cell contains a number equal to its, its ominos size. So let's, let's make that a little bit bigger. Now this would be a size six region, so it should have a six in every cell. This would be a size five region. That would be a size five region. Um, now, right, after the regions are placed, it must be possible to shade the regions one of two colors, such that any two regions touching at an edge have different coloring. Okay, so I've got three colors in the grid. That's naughty, I shouldn't do that. Let's make that blue. Um, in fact, this is absolutely wrong. I can say that uh, now immediately, because if this was a region of size five, um, it ought to be surrounded by blue cells, oughtn't it? And that's going to that's going to make this region difficult to accomplish. So let's delete that. I'm sort of winging this a bit, or it might be better to look at the example puzzle. So this this sort of thing could happen, and then we could join those up maybe, and that region has got seven cells in it. That could be a two size region, that could be a two size region, uh, because it's not touching this two size region, that could be a one size region. So I think something like that might be possible. Um, and that, that's why it's called checkered aromino. So we've got to make sure that we keep changing color once whenever we go across a boundary from one region to another. 
or across an edge from one reason to another. Now, the arrows, what are those doing? So one or more arrows in a cell indicate the number in the cell equals the number of cells of the same shading in all of the directions combined. Wow, so uh, this, this is ringing the most mild of, mild of bells. So imagine this square was blue. It's got two arrows in it. So I think you look in the direction of the arrows. So we'd be looking at all of those cells and we would count how many blue cells were in these, these cells that I've just highlighted. And whatever that number is, we would plonk it in this cell here. Now let's come back and, ch and stare at the example puzzle and see if this makes more sense to us. So this is the starting grid on the left and this is the finish grid on the right. So I can see that, that what about this four here? Let's, let's, have a, let's write four in there and see if we can understand. So you have to look in all three directions of the arrows and it's a gray cell. So I expect there should be, there's this one is gray, isn't it? That one's gray. Uh, that's all there is in that direction. There's two grays here, that one and this one. And hopefully this is great, yeah. So that's why this is a four count, because it's got four gray cells in the directions of the arrows. And you can see there's the checkerboarding applies. You can see that the region of size four has four cells in it, unsurprisingly. The region of size six has six cells in it. And I can't see any instances in that grid there of regions of the same size sharing an edge. So that is our task. That is our task. Do have a go at the puzzle. I mean, I literally cannot recommend Fistenfels puzzles highly enough. Uh, he is an absolute genius. I'm not telling you this is easy. It's probably going to be monstrously hard. But if we can solve it, there will be many moments when we, we just take our hats off to the constructor and bow in admiration. The way to play is to click the link under the video in the video description. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Now, now, I'm wondering, oh no, I was about to make a mistake. <laughs> I was about to make a mistake. So I was about to write one and two into all those three cells and that would have been wrong, wouldn't it? These two could only be ones or twos because they only, they only have two cells. So this is counting the number of cells in that direction that are the same color as itself. So it's got to be um, a one or a two. This one though, I suddenly realized it's counting those four cells. That's one, two, three, or four. Um, I do remember something from the first video about this pattern. So I might, I might stop there and talk about that in a moment or two. Don't know if it works the same way on diagonals. Um, Let's, let's just see if we can pick up more cells that are close to the edge. No, that's definitely not. It's close to the edge, but it's not pointing the right way. What about these? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, they're both one, two, three, or four. I can't... S oh, no, I was about to write one into that one, and that's the same mistake again, isn't it? That That's actually counting an awful lot of cells. So you can't use the fact there's a down arrow to say, ah, oh, this must be a one. I mean, it might end up being a one, but that would be quite surprising. Um, yeah, okay, so we've got a few instances of a pattern I remember. I'm, go I'm going to start here because at least I know something. I, know, I guess I can tell you something intelligent about these two cells. And that the thing I'm going to tell you is that these cells are not in the same region. And that's because, let's try and put them in the same region for a moment. Then each of these cells is counting the number of purple cells to its left. So it's the, the left-hand cell, this cell, is counting how many purples there are in there. Let's say there were three. So this would be a three. But then this is counting those purple cells in there, which we've said is three, plus this one. So this would be a four. But hang on, I've now got two regions, because these can't be in the same region, they have a different number in them, um, and yet they have the same colour and they share an edge, and that's against the rules of the puzzle. So what we can do is we can say straight away these are in different regions. Now, I'm just wondering actually, now I've got to decide what colours we're going to use today. Do you think we should use, 
I'm wondering, maybe I should just use blue and orange, which I believe are the best colours for colourblind folk. I think I'll use blue and orange. Um, now, now, the next thought that occurs to me is that the sum of those two digits has got to be six, because this is counting the blue cells in that region, and this is counting the orange cells in that region, but this cell is most certainly not orange. So it's actually counting orange cells in the same region as the blue arrow is pointing at. So these two must share, um, they, must, they must add up to six. And they can't be six zero and they can't be three three, can they? Because if they were three three, you'd have, you'd break the rules of Philomeno. You'd have a three blue region next to a three orange region. And that's impossible. So this is either one five or two four. I mean, it's so, it's so weird because it's very hard for me to get out of Sudoku mode here. This this row looks absolutely broken. Um, now, I don't know what to do now. Unsurprisingly, what about? that cell maybe uh, if that was a two I'm just going to look at that for a moment if that's a two then all those three cells are the same <laughs> oh okay that would have to be a two and it couldn't touch oh right hang on yeah sorry the thing I've seen here is if I make that a two in order to color these the same color as this then this two actually is forced, isn't it? It has to go there. Because if you put the if you put the extension of green here or here, it will connect orthogonally with this and become a three region, which is a paradox. So these two cells would have to be whatever green isn't. Now Well, there is one thing I can see that's, that falls from that. But I don't, right, it definitely, it definitely applies to this one. I don't know if it applies to this one. I'm actually going to just check before I, before I say that. So if those three are all green and this is a two. Um... These two would be do no, okay, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually really interesting. This is already really interesting. Right. This cell. The thing is, I don't know how I'm going to relate this to these two. I'm, I want to relate it to. Oh. No, I do know one thing. Okay, all right. So I, I realize I'm sort of exploring the grid here. I'm not perhaps indicating my thoughts correctly. But let, let's start with this digit. Okay, now if this was a one, let's make it green. Then it's in a one cell region. So it's surrounded by a different color to itself. Now, the thing I've noticed is that if this is a two, in which case these two are both green, this still has to be purple because it can't be green, because it would connect with this cell here and become a three region. So this cell is always purple. Well, this cell is always different colored to this cell. So this is, this is like a domino of difference. These two are not the same color. Now, the interesting thing is that that logic actually applies exactly the same to this cell. Because again, if these three are the same color, I cannot extend the green to here because it will create a three region. And if this is a one, it's surrounded by purple anyway. So these two are a different color as well. And why is that interesting for this clue? Well, in that domino, there's one of each color. And in that domino, there's one of each color. So there's at least two of each color in those cells, which means this can't be a one five combination and has to be a two four combination. It also means, now I think about it, that these two cells are the same color. Because, because we, we, we know that whichever one of these is two, its count, if you like, is included within those four cells. So these two are the same color, but this is, this is where I think this is gonna get horribly complicated 
Because how do I now know? What I want to do is to know whether this domino is blue or orange. I think I'm going to make those blue and orange and those blue and orange. I know this is really, really unhelpful. What are ah, the other thing I could do actually, which I will do, is that. That's forced, isn't it? Because we know that each of these dominoes, like this domino and this domino, have to divide into different regions. Now, let me just think about this. I'm sure there's a way that we're, we're supposed to know what colour this is. If this is, if that's a two, then these are orange and that's a four. These are orange. That's a four. <laughs> um, and this is where I make myself look very stupid in front of a lot of people by not understanding remotely why that is constrained or not. I don't know. Uh, Oh, all right. Well, I still no, I don't. But I've spotted one other tiny point because these are in the same region. This clue is in a region that's at least of size two, isn't it? So it can't be a one. <laughs> um, that is the most terrible deduction. Now, actually, how could this be a four? That's not that's not such a silly question. If this is a four, then all of these have to be purple. And I can immediately see that's a problem because that's of a size five omino. Uh, and we're saying that was a four in order to create that. So that's a paradox we can't live with. So that's not four. So this is now two or three. So it's either exactly equal to its size. If it's two. It's really hard for it to be two, but I think it could be. Well, here's a thought. Is it is it true to say that these two are both anti-purple? <laughs> might not be. It might not be. But th this is my thought process for claiming. Yeah, I mean, if this is two, clearly this region is finished, isn't it? That's going to force that to be a four, actually. But anyway, this, this region would then be finished. So it couldn't join to that, which would in effect make this orange. Which would require these squares to frame it with blue, blueliness, wouldn't they? in order to keep this region to size two. But now we know this needs to meet its criteria of two, which means these two would both be orange. So that's one possibility. I can't see why that's impossible. It might, it might not be possible, but it, it seems, it feels like it, it works. But what I'm wondering is if instead I decide to make this three, which is its only other possibility, you can see that now we have to be a bit careful how we get to three here, because you can't take both of those cells. Otherwise, that's creating a size four region. So you have to. Oh, no, hang on, I can't. No, I must be able to do it. No, I think I can. Yeah, I can do it, only just though. Yeah, so I have to take these two. They'd have to both be purple. And I have to take one of these, but it can't be this one, where it's creating a region that's too big. So you'd have to take that one. And now, this is a size three region. Yeah, 
Um, but the, but but the, the same effect is true on these. This domino is still not purple. This is still anti-purple, isn't it? And that's always anti-purple. So whether this is two or three, you sort of we have to surround purple with what it isn't in three positions. But if that's three. I, I think there's there's probably something more profound I can say there. I just can't see what it is. So that we, if we're having an anti-purple color, those three are anti-purple. I don't know what that means. Um, if this is two, maybe this is always purple, is it? Is that also a fair comment? If this is two, those two are both purple. If this is three, that's still purple. Yeah, okay, so that is always purple. I think this one might always be purple as well. <laughs> but this one we don't know about. Gosh, how, how weird is that? And th this is all predicated on something that we, we where we don't know, or at least I don't know, whether purple is blue or orange. Um, do I know if this is three, it extends there if it's two. So do I know, can I relate that to this square? I think I can, can't I? Because this is always picking up its quorum of cells as it it's always getting to its size either it's a two and it is its size which makes this yellow or it's three and this is providing the third cell which still means ah so the, oh yes so that tells me it sorry no oh come on oh okay i'm confusing myself aren't i proving No, I don't know if I, yeah, I think, nah, <laughs> I know these are different. And I think I'm proving that this cell can't join purple. Because if it joined purple, it's going to make purple too big. Because purple's reaching its size, either because it's already reached its size, or it takes that cell. Ah, that's it. Sorry, this is totally straightforward, and I'm a complete imbecile. Yes, so this, this is not blue. So we've now proved that purple is orange, and yellow is blue. Now that ought to do something. Now we also know that orange completes itself by this or it's naturally completed itself. So that is not, so that's blue, which means that is now orange. Now, now look at this, I've got two orange. Well, I've got, no, okay, so no, I've got an orange here, but I don't know what this is. How strange. So if that's a two, that becomes a four. But if that's a three, that could be either. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, and I don't know. I just don't know anything about this one, do I? Because if that's a two, it could take that one as orange. So these could both be orange. Um. So if if blue. If this was blue, this would be a four. And then that would be a... Oh, but hang on, hang on, hang on. Because we now know the color of this, we know orange is four. Ah, ah, this is huge. So we've got to do it in that order because orange is orange. There's definitely four oranges in, in, in this six cell sequence. So that's huge because now this can't be blue because it's going to create too big a region. So that's got to be orange. Blue has to come here. Blue has to be two. Those two have to be orange to stop blue being too big. That's fixed this, which now must be a three. Uh, all those are the same. We've got to frame this. This is now blue to stop that region we've just built getting too large. This is a one region. So that can't be next to a one region on either side. So that both of those oranges have to grow. That four region suddenly just got filled in. So we're actually doing quite well here. This is bizarre. Um, 
this region could be a size 2 region. I think that region could be a size 1 region. Uh, oh, that was ex oh, that was so exciting for a moment. Now, come on. Let me just... Let me just get another another digit or two. <laughs> oh no! Um, that can be a one, I think. Do we know anything about? I wanted to think about these at the start. I was wondering if they have a similar property to this. In other words, do they have to be different? That was the question I was thinking about. Well, ah, uh, okay. One thing I can see here is I don't think this can be a 2. I might be wrong about this, but if this is a 2, we're saying that th we're saying all three of those are the same color because we're saying this has two of its color on the diagonal. So all of those would be blue. But now this has to be a three, doesn't it? Because there's only one color on its diagonal. But So that's got to be blue. And if that's a two, it can't grow. Because if it goes there, it's attaching to this one. If it goes there, it's attaching to this one. And if it goes into either of those, it's attaching to this one and it's becoming a three region. And that doesn't work. So I think it's legitimate. To, well, this is a, it's legitimate to say that's a one, which means whatever this is, these are different. Does it mean that's orange then? I think it does. Yeah, it does mean that's orange. Because if this was blue, this, this couldn't point at only one color. Though it's either a two or a zero. But the weird thing about this being now a 1 is that we don't know what colour it is, weirdly. That one, though, can't be a 3 anymore. So this is 1 or 2. That's extraordinary, and somehow it's not useful. Oh, well, actually, it's not useful, although I will just note for the sake of completeness, I may not know the colour of that, so I'm going to purplify it. But it's surrounded by, on all sides, by by what it isn't, by anti-purple, isn't it? So, so now this... Ah, well, that's very cool, because now this can't be yellow. Because if it's yellow... <laughs> It's in a three region, and it can only be a one or a two, so that's got to be purple. This is weird. So ye now yellow can't be a one, so that yellow grows. This yellow can't be a oh, this yellow could be blue and could have oh, you've got to be we've got to be careful with this, because until I know how to relate yellow to to orange and blue, this this could already be bigger because it could be naturally joining to orange. This one did definitely did have to grow, have to grow. This this couldn't uh, learn anything from the blues and oranges that were over here. That one, this is a one. I know these are the same. Ah, this is a two. Because the count for this, which is purple, is that one plus whatever purple is. It's got another to pick up there. So this is a two. And therefore purple grows and therefore purple gets surrounded by yellow. <laughs> um, what's this then? That's not two. Ah, no, this is This is absolutely beautiful. That is a three because it's counting the yellows in its column. It sees two. If that's a two, it's touching another two region. So it's that that is a three and it's got to grow there. And now this can't go there, or it would be part of a four region. So that becomes purple. That's got to grow. This can't be a two yellow region, because it's already touching a two yellow region. So this has to grow into at least one of those cells. Wow. 
I'm going to put my two in there <laughs> um, to make me feel better about myself. Now, now, what on earth do we do with this knowledge? That is the next question. Any ideas? Uh, that clue, maybe? These two clues? I don't know. Oh, neither of these can be fours because they've each got. Oh, well, no, this. No, 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 they can't be fours. No, they can't. This is, sees both orange and blue. This sees both orange and blue. So neither, neither of these are fours. So that might be helpful. So if this is blue, it's three. No. <laughs> that doesn't work. If that's, if that's, oh. Well, okay. If it's, so it has to be orange. Yeah, yeah, that's right. If that's blue, it is part of a three region at least. It can't be higher than three because of its diagonal. Um, and it would clash here with see another three region. So that has to be orange, I think. But that means we're counting at least. So it's not a one. Because it's counting at least two and possibly this one if that's orange. Uh, right, what about that one then? Is it possible that's orange as well? If that's orange, this is a three that would be surrounded on all sides by blue. Yeah, no, no, that's not orange because it can't see enough orange. It, it's seeing two orange at most, so that's that's blue. This is massive, so this is one. This is, this is seeing at least two. So these are different numbers now. This is, this is, we can almost do Sudoku on these two because they obviously can't be the same from a Philomeno perspective. So, this one, whatever this one is going to reveal the nature of this one. This can't be a one size region, but it's, I mean, there's no reason it needs to be this one. The exciting thing about this one is if this square is a two, because then that has to be at least a four, because it couldn't be one, two or three. That one. I don't know. I think the big game in town here is to know whether yellow, whether yellow is orange or blue, and whether purple is orange or blue. Is it this this cell? I mean, I asked this question before without really having a good feel for how I can possibly know the answer. Um, well, although what I hadn't thought about is that if that's blue, it's a big number. So it is a big number. This is a big number. In fact, it can't be four. Right. Ah, I didn't understand this at all. But look, this cell is either blue. Now, let's just make it blue for a moment and think about what that means. Now, that blue is, is already four, but it can't be four because it's already touching a four. So it's at least five, which means this would have to be a five at least counting. So one, two turn all of those blue they would all be forced to be blue so if this is blue let's 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 if this is blue this is a five but it might be orange now if it's orange it's counting four here oh but it's trapped in by yellow wow okay that's really interesting. That's really interesting. Okay, let's think about this. So if if this is orange, this has to be at least a five. No, that's not true. That this could now be a four because it only sees four in the row, four oranges in the row. But how does it get to a count of 
orange 4 without orange being yellow. It can't. So orange would have to be yellow, but that makes orange very big. It's then at least 7, which would force this to be blue but those to all be orange. So, so these are always, those three are the same color. Those, uh, let's make that a pleasant color, green. Those three are the same color, but I don't know whether they're orange or blue, I don't think. Now, if, right, I'm just gonna get rid of the color for that cell. So if, yes, and that would be a seven in that instance, it couldn't be more than seven. So this is a five or a seven. If it's five, it's blue, which would mean it couldn't go. Oh, does that work or not? Actually, I'm gonna go back to looking at that. If that's blue, we know this is five, but now, so blue is different from orange. So this, but we don't know whether orange is yellow. Oh, I do think it's true to say if this is five, that square's got to be orange. Because otherwise, if this is blue, we get to a six region. So this would be orange. but then that could be blue and all of those could be orange. I don't know if that's okay or not. Or perhaps that could be blue, which would mean all of these would be blue. This would have to be orange. So we'd have orange ones in these positions and these two squares would both be orange. No, that doesn't. Yeah, that might be, maybe that does work. What I do know is that this is very complicated. Indeed. Um, Okay, sorry, let me just think about this again. I'm wondering if I can combine it somehow with this clue. Like, do I know the color of that cell either way? I'm, not, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure this is complicated. I don't know what number this is either. So if this is, if it's orange, Yeah, it might, it might be possible to show that's always blue. It might be. I'm not sure. It's very complicated. <laughs> um, let's, okay, I'm going to try it. I think I can see it more clearly if this is orange. If this is orange, we're counting up to at least four. So we actually now we've worked out that's a seven. Now to make this a size seven, it's very clear that orange and yellow are the same. Now if orange and yellow are the same, that gets us the count of seven, which means this square is definitively blue. So in that situation, this is most certainly blue. That's if this square is orange. Now, the complicating one, or the more complicated one, is what happens if this is, this is itself a blue five? If this is a blue five, is it necessary that this completes using this cell or not? That's the question. I, I mean, I can see it looks like it could do, but does it actually have to? I don't know. 
this this is a four at the moment it needs one more cell and it can't have this one now could it take that one that would make this a five these would all have to be the same they would be a four this has to grow I mean let, let's actually just let's just try and visualize this by turning everything here blue because that's what this would cause now why does that break or does it not break certainly quite challenging isn't it those other ones are all orange now but it looks like it might work so it looks like that could now be orange this would be a two this would be a th oh no the count changes oh is it that oh maybe it's that these Oh gosh, yes, it's some right. Okay, it's cleverer than I'd realised. I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try and prove this a different way. I think. I think this is. Okay. So. I think what I'm going to do is try and prove it using this two-three pair. Now, if this is orange we know that this is blue that that's that was very clear and un, undeniably true and if this is orange this diagonal should be a three but that means this diagonal should be a two but it sees three blues so that's wrong isn't it so actually it's this diagonal that forces this to be it's blue it's blue which means it's five which means all of those have to be blue and I have to hope that I can fix this now otherwise I've made a mistake because uh, this definitely doesn't work with this being orange now I don't know what this is anymore but this might tell me <laughs> because now I've got I've got two here which means this has to be three one two which means that has this is beautiful now it's going to do it because that forces this to be blue and now this yellow cannot be blue or it's too big so yellow is now orange which means yellow is orange everywhere <laughs> another strange sentence from cracking the cryptic which means purple is blue the per this is too this is big enough it must stop this can't be a one region so it grows that finishes the three region look let's let's fill in some numbers let's fill in some orangeification to delineate this um, this is a region of size six so that that can go next to a region of size five there's no problem there this we don't know about yet wow okay but we have that's a little bit of a breakthrough <laughs> I think um, this has to grow doesn't it so it if it grows there this this region's getting very large if it grows here We don't know if it grows to both of those we don't know uh, well there must be something that tells us how these all grow oh look this two can't grow there otherwise it's going to be a four so that's got to grow there which means that's a two we must ring that with blueification this can't be a two region it would be touching a two so that's got to grow so now this is a five T pentomino at least. That's got to grow. But it can grow in a variety of ways. So I don't think we can do that. Can you just imagine Vistamafel si sitting in his high tower, which I imagine has an eye over the top of it that sort of surveys the puzzling work landscape and whenever anyone solves this puzzle it sort of zooms in on them and stares aggressively um, but I can imagine him enjoying setting this this is very interesting and it's it's sort of got loads of capacity for misleading trickery and cleverness um, 
Right. <laughs> Do I now know? Ah. I don't know. If this, if that's blue, then this clue's getting quite big. But it would be quite big because it would see five, it would see three. It would be at least a five, but it would see three immediately. So that doesn't seem to be that difficult, actually. Um, I mean, what? That's that we are. Uh, maybe that clue, because that clue is actually... Well, that clue is either counting blue, in which case it's a five, or if it's counting orange, it's a one. It's only got two choices. If it's a one orange, it's got to be surrounded by blue. These two have to be different. Ah, there's something going on there. I haven't quite got my head around it, but whichever one of these is orange is in a region that's at least a size three region. But we know from the trick that we did up here that these two cells are counting. They're sharing six, aren't they? So these add up to six and one of them is at least a three, but it can't be two threes. Um, so orange is going to be the bigger digit. There's more oranges along here than there are blues. I know this is one of each. I should delineate that, shouldn't I? I should delineate that one as well for exactly the same reason. Now... Yeah, in fact, yeah, none. well, orange can't be a three for two reasons. Firstly, it would then be touching a three in the other cell of a different color, but also it would be touching a three here. So orange is four or five. So this region is a four or five region. Which is nearly really cool, isn't it? But it doesn't actually tell me anything. Um, At least I don't think it does. This is this is split up into a lot of oranges and very few blues. <laughs> I mean that's interesting, but it's not in I don't think it really tells me anything. Um Sorry. Uh, if that's blue, that is now at least a seven region. So that would be a seven at least. So we'd be turning an awful lot of this column blue. That sort of feels like it's impossible, but I'm not sure. If this is one, what are we saying then? Well, that's actually very interesting. If that's all a yet an orange one, it sees its count and it makes this blue, but also it makes everything orthogonally connected to that blue, which, which increases the count of this arrow even more. So then it's three, four, eight, nine. We're almost getting to the point where it's not possible. That is still possible, I think. I think. I'm not, I'm not totally sure about that, but I think it's possible. Uh, hmm. It feels like there's far more constraint on that version of the world. If this is two, well, although if this is two, 
then this is orange and it couldn't grow because if this this is a region of size 2 not a size region of size 5 so that would be a 3 region this would be a 1 region this would have to be blue have we got some count of numbers anywhere that's going to help me to know how this works <laughs> apparently not um what about that one? Is that under any sort of pressure at all? If that's if that's if this is orange, it's got to be one. So these two would both be orange. And that orange would get ringed by blue. So if this is an orange one, all of those are blue. And that one is also orange. <laughs> uh, it's really confusing, isn't it? It's very difficult to visualize this, at least for me. Um, if this is two, it has to be blue. Let's just have a quick look at that. Because it has to be blue, because these have both have to be blue. So this would be blue. And then this, this blue two couldn't bump into this region. So that would be orange. This would be a blue blue cell. So oranges would live in all of those cells. And that doesn't... Oh, that's it. That doesn't work. Wow. Okay, that was very difficult for me to see, but you've probably seen that already. I apologize for that. But let's, let's go through this slowly. If this is a blue two, I have to make this blue. And now this, this cell has to be orange now. Um, and we know that this is a different colour, that we know that there was a boundary between these two. So both of these cells become orange. But if both of these cells become orange, we have to grow our blue two here. And now look, that has to be orange, and that's creating a region that's too big. So it cannot be true. So on oh, the problem with this is that's that's not telling me this isn't blue, is it? It's telling me it's not a two. So that is a one which means this square is now orange. So that so now this square has to be blue, otherwise we've got the same problem. We'd have a three, th this, this can't be a three. So that has to be blue. <laughs> oh, come on, stop being naughty. Well, no, no, we might now be able to prove that this isn't blue because this clue would be too big. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It can't be an eleven, can it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it can't be an eleven. So this is it. That cannot be blue now. So that has to be orange, which means this clue is a two. Now it now that's blue because otherwise it's got too big. So this is orange. Uh, these two squares become blue as a result of that little escapade. Um, if that's blue, this is now definitely orange. And therefore it's surrounded by blue, I suppose. So we've got a blue five in the corner. We've got a, a one there, a three here. So this is an orange three, this clue. So there's not much, well, there's seven cells actually. So they're pretty evenly divided between orange and blue down there. I'm never going to remember that. I'm going to put some, I'm going to ring this clue so that I actually see it. Look, I'm going to put that round it. Just, just because it's pointing at such a remote part of the grid, I won't remember it's there. Now, what does all this mean? No idea. No idea at all. Do we know? <laughs> Do we know anything more than we know? We know that's a one. We know this is at least a six. We know we know that's a two, actually. That's something we do know. This could be a three, if it stops. Oh well, okay, we've nearly done, we've nearly done four rows. We're very close to having done four rows. The only clue in the top of the grid that points down the grid at all is this one. And, okay, well, we, we haven't had an hour yet, so we're not doing absolutely dreadfully. We have at least started the puzzle. I mean, is it this one? I don't think it is, but 
What could that be? It could be those two. They could be those three could all be the same color. So it's three. So it's a maximum of six. But it's a minimum of two. It's two, three, four, five, or six. And we have I literally have no feel at all for what colour it might be. How many cells in this region and those regions are the same? It feels absolutely impossible to know what on earth that's meant to be telling me. Don't know. <laughs> really, really don't know. Okay, so it's got to be something else. Do we know what this is? If that's orange, it is a three. That feels impossible. Oh, good grief. Wow. Wow, that is impossible. Remember remember when we were looking at these two squares? We worked out one of these is orange, and it's, it's coming into an orange in one of these. But it can't be a three, so it's going to be at least a four. So that means there's a great deal of orange in these cells. There's at least fours, fours worth of orange, and I think more than that once you count the one that's in here. So this, if this was orange, it's going to be wrong. So that's got to be blue. And that means this is orange. And that means we can ring that with all blue. And now these two squares turn to be threes. This can't be a three. So this clue is at least a four. It's at least a four of blue. But there's not much blue in this. There's not much blue in this row. So I think that, right, we might have found the next point of tension. We might have found the next point of tension. Let's think about this carefully. So there's an or this is there's one blue and one orange here. But we know that the orange is either a four or a five. Because it can't just be equal to three or it's going to clash here. So the orange in one of these two squares is a four or a five region. Which means that the maximum number of blues in that contiguous stretch of digits or cells is two plus the one in there, which is three. That is the absolute maximum. So this square, it's at least four. If those two were both blue, it could possibly be five, maybe. So I think that's four or five only, I think. But to be five, the it would do an awful lot of damage if this was five exactly. Because I think both of those then have to be blue. This would then have to be orange. This would have to be blue. This would be an orange four. This would be a blue two. Which I mean, it would do. So, I mean, if you if we knew this was five, I think the I'm not saying the puzzle would finish, but I think it would do incredible amounts of work. Right. Now, let me think about this. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how this could be blue. If this is blue, it's at least a four. But that means I think it would have to be a five in the sense that if that's if that's blue this region is at least a four cell region now so this is at least a four looking up at these squares which means three of these at least have to turn blue which means at least one of these has to turn blue but that makes this a five which means all of these have to turn blue 
which causes this to be part of an enormous region. So it doesn't work. So that is not blue. So this is orange and it's counting some number of cells, <laughs> including these two. Um, oh, actually, hang on. We know at least one of these is orange as well, don't we? So this is at least a three. I mean, but could it just be all of them? No, it can't be all of them because then, then it's going to connect to this and that region is far too large. So it's not all of them, but it is at least three. It's at least three. At least three. It could be four, I think. And maybe it could be five, but it definitely can't be six. Right. So our next job is to work out what on earth is... I still think this row might be profitable for us. I actually do. I've just got to figure out how. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> um... What's it going to be? I just, I just haven't got a, just don't quite see it. This is, whatever this grows to be, it's putting four or five orange in one of these, which implies that the blue clue, which will be in one of these squares, is a one or a two. Is there some reason that it can't be one of those things? Blue two in one of those cells. I don't know. At least one of these is blue. That is definitely true. Possibly both. Although if it is both, I think the world becomes a fairly scary place, actually. Let's just have a think about that. Is it possible that this is a five? If this is a five. One of the, this, this would have to be a blue two. This would have to be an orange four. But that's not going to work. No, okay, it doesn't work. Gosh, it's it's really hard to see. Um, it's f at least for me. The problem here is if you do this, you actually have to ring this, don't you, with orange, which means this region is absolutely enormous, and yet it's meant to be meant to be pointing. It's meant to be four or five large. So five doesn't work here, which is fascinating because that means this is a four. Which means that what does it mean? Does that allow me to say anything? This can't be five. It's actually equal to four. Still, I still have a feeling there might be a problem regarding the disposition of digits here somehow. I just need to try and work out how to do this. This can't be a four now, I suppose, because it, it's it's touching this region. So this is three or five. But if that's three, wow, that's no, no, I don't think this can be three. How is that ever going to work? If that's three, that means that we've already got a count of two. So three of these cells have to be blue, which means one of these cells exactly must be blue. And both of these must be blue. But if both of these are blue, that's a two region touching a two region. That doesn't work. 
and we can't we can't we can't jam the the blues up here um sorry the we, we can't jam the blues here because if we put the two blues there this region isn't the right size it's at least five so that is a five region but it only sees two at the moment so three of these cells need to be orange wow oh woohoo got it right so how could those both be orange if both of those are orange this four has to grow there and it's a five region this is unbelievable so that doesn't work so one of these must be blue which means both of those must be orange wow now um, now this is very exciting i still can't see how to do it i think one point we can say is that that's orange that seems to be very very a very fair point doesn't it that is orange because it can't be blue one of these is blue i would love to know which one i can also see oh no can i if this is orange you've got to be really careful not to bump it into this region this sort of fruit that's hanging down from the top of the grid um right okay 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 come on let's have a think what are we going to do next we could argue about don't know my phone is buzzing um okay that might be somebody um might mean i have to do a facetime call shortly but let, let me just carry on for the moment um come on come on simon you can do this i have no confidence i can actually do it <laughs> let's this is one of each this is a four i know that the maximum number of blues in there is two so the maximum count we're at there is three if this was one five then yeah okay so i think what i do know now which i which i hadn't at least concreted in my brain before is if this is a one five pair to divide up this six that's no longer going to work is it because that means that these cells as a unit contain two blue cells which means these would have to take the the brunt of the to get us up to four both of those would be blue and that would create a five region where this is only meant to be a four so this is a two four pair exactly now So now how could this be orange? Yeah, there's, this can't be orange, can it? If that's orange, when, when whichever one of these converts to be orange, and one of them will have a sort of Damascene conversion, um, whichever one is going to connect up a great big orange region and mean this can't be a four, so that's got to be blue. Now this can't be blue, or it's a size five region, so that's orange, this is blue, it can't grow anymore, that's orange, that's given me two one regions on this diagonal, a great big region here, which is 5, 6, 12, 13 region here, I don't know if I can show that in the software, I could do that but maybe, yeah, that does actually work, oh, hang on, that's not a one, that's a four, that's my bad, those are fours. Uh, this is a five region but we don't know how it works that's anything this oh no 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 bobbins bobbins face no got it beautiful i was about to say how uh, this could be orange and be a four region but if it was a four region it was going to connect to the blue four region and that's not going to work so this cannot be an orange four and it must be a blue two which means that's a this is a blue two region that's a four uh, it's orange and this ah, and that's done it look i hope this isn't broken i'm suddenly worried about that that four region is finished it must be it must be ringed by blue this has still got to grow because it's 
um, otherwise it would be the same size as the region next to it. Three. Whichever one of, right, this five region here is going to take one of these two cells, but it can't take both because whichever one of these it takes is going to connect it to a wing on one side or the other and complete it. It's either going to be a W pentomino or an F pentomino. So one of, this is one of each. Let's, let's label that up like that. Try and instill that or make my brain remember it. Now. Now. <laughs> what on earth does this all mean for the rest of the puzzle? These are part of the five. I don't think I should put that in until I know. If this is... Oh, I see. Yeah, that could be a blue five, couldn't it? And if it just finishes, if that's a blue five, so then all of those squares would be orange. All of those squares would be orange. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, let me think about this. I might be able to say that's always orange. If this is blue, that's finished and that's orange. If this is orange, no, then it's a one and that's blue. No, I'm totally wrong. Um, I, think, I think maybe what we can say is this is one of each which is still useful. I'm going to do that. Yeah, okay. So if this is one, if this is a one, it's counting the orange numbers on this diagonal. So it is orange, but it's an orange one. So this will be blue and these will be of different colors. If this is five, it's part of a blue five and therefore that's orange. So this is, this is one of each and therefore look at the two clue here. It sees one here and it sees one in this green domino. So there's no more uh, blue in this row that's all orange and that means this clue is counting orange which means which is, is the more annoying version well no okay it's now not two because it's part of a region of size three so that's true uh, um, can it be six now really how would it be six one two three no, it can't be six. There aren't. I think it could be six if it was all blue, couldn't it? But now it's orange. It doesn't have that luxury. So it's three, four, or five. Now, which one of these can we rule out? Don't know. <laughs> um, tempted to go off and look down here now what's this these two clues are different and they are sharing eight in the row but we've got right look this is a three five pair that's beautiful isn't it straight away i can do that um, because those cells there are three of each color so in order to divide up these cells into eight which we know we must be doing from the logic we did earlier um we can't do it any other way but three, five. One, seven, two, six are not available because there are at least three of each color. We can't do four, four, or we'd have two regions the same size of different colors next to each other. And that won't work either. So, right. So what we'd actually know from this is that these two cells are the same color. So if they were blue, blue would be great big region. If these were orange, well, if these were blue, then that cell would have to be orange and would be an orange three, therefore, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. That would be an orange three. This would be a blue five. Wow. <sighs> um, I mean, if I was guessing where we're meant to look at the moment, I would say it's this clue. But I'm not sure how we meant to, I'm not sure how we're meant to know what this clue is. If it's let's go back to if it's five. If it's five, what are we doing? We're saying we're saying all three of those you see that would be massively powerful. 
because what I'm seeing is if I make all of those orange and because I've made this a five that region gets finished look so you'd have to surround that with blue like that and that would be blue actually as well blue would be a massive region No, ah, ah, no, that doesn't work. <sighs> That's not easy to see. Okay, let's go with this. If this is five, this pattern is forced, which means both of these squares, oh no, no, it still doesn't work. Both of those squares have to be blue. Because otherwise this is growing too big. But if both of those are blue, haven't I got two ones here? I do, those are both ones. That doesn't work. Aha, got it. Okay. So this is not five, that is not five. So it's now three or four. Now, four is a very interesting number here as well. Because if it's four, this has to be orange, I think. Because what I'm saying here is if this is a four, we're at a two count at the moment. So two of those three squares exactly have to be orange, but it couldn't be these two, or we'd be the four region would become a five region. So it would have to be this one. And all these squares would be blue by force. Ah, that's it. There you go. All these squares are blue then. Whatever. But because one of the, because if this is four, one of these, has to be orange, it's going to complete this orange region, which will bound it on the low side by blue. But if this is a three, it's done. So all of those are blue. All of these are always blue. Now, if this is three, all of those are blue as well. And therefore that, so this is always orange. <laughs> this little cell here is always orange. Because if this is three, we have to make all those blue to keep this down to a size three region. But this has to reach a count of three, so that's going to be orange. But if this is four, we can only have one of these two as orange. So the other one will have to be there. So this is always orange, which I think is actually going to be absolutely hopeless. It's not going to do anything, I don't think. Well, it does mean that square's blue, actually. That square's blue, because otherwise we're making a five region. So is this a one region? Or could it be a two region? Which one of these is orange? If I, if any. I don't know. And ah, ah, got it. Right, so this region is getting finished by one of these squares. It's either finished and this is a three, or it's finished by the application of one of these to being orange to create the four clue. Now that means this square can't possibly be orange and that has to be blue. But if that's blue, that means this square is now orange. And then that square is, that square is a one because that's how many oranges there are on that diagonal, which means that square is a blue. Now, has that done it? Has, has that helped me? These are the same. I mean, what an extraordinary puzzle this is. It's just extraordinary, isn't it? It's, it's so intricate. But, but every time you find a deduction, it's like, oh, I should have got that sooner. Oh, I should have got that sooner. Um, Right, this is a five blue region. That can't be a one blue region because it would be next to a one. So this is growing in at least one direction. So that means this is getting big. If that's orange, what color is this? That's got to then be blue. Or well, this has got too big. So if that's orange, this is blue which means this is a two, which means this has to grow. And that would be a three. So if that's orange, this is a three. If that's blue, that's a one, this has to grow. I 
don't think we know. How are we ever going to disambiguate this then? Oh, there's a clue here. Oh, no. <laughs> there's all these clues at the bottom that are going to be in some way in play, aren't they? Right, okay. So we don't know anything. Good grief. Okay, so... If, what about if that's orange? that's orange that must be blue that must be orange I can't see it I can't see how to do it um, so I've got to look for something else I think it might it's probably I think it's probably this row actually now let me think about that if this is if that's blue <laughs> then we know blue is the five so we know these turn blue because because blue will be extending this region because that will be a region that will have to be a five region so that would have to be orange then this would have to be orange and this so we'd get a three orange region ah uh, that would be massive because that would finish that i bet that's right i bet this is this is I bet this is blue. If it's orange, then then we know this is blue, but we don't know the order then, I don't think. We probably do, but I, I don't know the order, is what I mean to say. Um... I mean, this is baffling. What, what, what could it be that I'm missing here that's going to actually <laughs> figure out this, this... It's either going to be this left bit that gets figured out, or... Or some, somehow... That's this is looking down orange three. How do I do this? I'm going to check this again. Just, just because it's the only thing I can see that actually forces the value of this cell, which now can, we know it's a three or a five, and it can't be a three. So that's going to be a five. That's going to be a three, and it's going to be orange. Whoopsie, it's going to be orange, which means these are blue because this is the high count. So these, these would both be blue in this iteration of the world. Now, this now definitely can't be blue because that's going to make this bigger than five. So that's going to be an orange cell. And to reach its size of three, that's going to be orange. Now that, I think, is correcting the count for this clue, isn't it? That is saying that this, this clue... ...is finished with these three orange cells beneath it, which means this is... ...blue, and both of these are blue. But if that's the case, this cell here has to be a 5, because it's counting 5 in this column. And I don't think there's a problem with that, is there? I'm just staring at it, just to think about it. These two would have to be blue. There's an massive blue region there. Actually, that five region would then be finished. So these would all be orange. I mean, you can see how far this could go instantly. It would, it would go miles. All of these would be orange. This would be blue. 
I'm still not sure we actually know the value of this cell, which is weird. But I can't see. Hmm. I can't see what's wrong with that, to be honest. That feels right. It feels correct. Which probably means it's wrong for some really obvious reason. Um, but I'm not seeing what that reason is. Okay, so I think we've got to we've got to unwind that that little that little for, foray into into the world of bifurcation. Um, so that's if this was if this was blue. But the problem is if this is orange and this is blue. How do I know which of these is which? Is there a way to do that? I've still got to fit in three oranges in this column somehow. Is there some paradox we've got to look for between this is counting these cells and counting how many oranges there are in all of those cells. Now if that was, if this was orange as well, We're obviously cut a count of two here. We don't know what the value of this is. And there's no problem with this being the same value. No, okay, that doesn't I don't think that works. Um right, okay, so it's I think it's something more subtle than anything I've thought of so far, which is terrifying. Um is it going to be three, four, five, six? Seven. I mean, I know quite a lot about that diagonal look. But when I say that, I don't really, because I don't know what these two are, and I don't know what its own colour is. No, it's. I don't. I don't. That does not feel like a profitable endeavour to me. I have to say. Maybe this one. Maybe this was blue it would be at least a five if it was orange it would be at least a three this one we haven't got a clue about there's no connectivity thing here no there's very much not there's no connectivity there's anti-connectivity is there a reason this can't grow that grows to there actually there might be a point there because now this can't be no it's okay isn't it it's okay this I think yeah we've looked at this if this is a two region that needs to be a three and this needs to grow out but that that's all absolutely fine that's very achievable if the, what about if that's blue then that forces this to be one which means this has to grow and that's going to be blue but again, there's, there's no reason that this can't all be blue then again. It still doesn't do anything. So it's not, I don't think it's that cell that's the critical one. This, do we, what do we know about this? this is one of each, isn't it? Um, this one, these were both orange then this would have to be a one or grow these are both blue blue is blue is a massive region that's probably how Fistemafel is going to design this puzzle it's going to be like two regions of size 18 that can't touch each other um, but I am well and truly stuck now to be honest I've not got Scooby-Doo where to look either. 
It was going quite well for a while. But I cannot see the next step. Um, yes, I can. Why? Why? Why is my brain so useless? How could this possibly be blue? <sighs> the answer is it cannot possibly be blue because one of these is blue and that's going to attach that blue to the most enormous region possible. And it's not going to be a size three or five region. So that's orange. Oh, well, at least that's something. This car, oh, this has to grow. Oh, Simon, 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 you are a useless individual. Now, can that be a size one region? Yes, probably. Well, it, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it can. That would make that blue and that orange. Why can't that be a size one region? Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, if that's... If that's... I don't know. I'm so sorry about this. Um, so if that's orange now, that's blue. And... These would both have to be orange, wouldn't they? Yeah, I've suddenly come upon the realisation that I've got to be very careful with which, whichever one of these is blue, that it doesn't connect to this great big region. So if that's blue, let's just think about that for a moment. These two are both forced to be orange, I think. Which is mildly, that's not something I'd appreciate it, which means this is five. Ah. And that's a three. And that's an orange, so that's a three. Um, and this is an orange. This is blue. I'm just going to I'm just going to have a look at this for a second or two just to see if I can spot any any problems. Both of those are now orange because of the count up here. Oh gosh, that's it. Oh, that's vicious. That is quite vicious and beautiful at the same time. I've even looked at this column before. I just didn't I don't think I'd appreciated it in the right way. Right, look. Look at this. So we're in a world, we're in a world where we've decided to test whether this square can be blue. And we worked out if this blue was blue, these are forced to be orange. But now, because these are orange, this is the five and it's an orange five. And that means that this, this blue three has to get down, has to get out. But now the, the fascinating thing is this clue at the top, which is an orange three. Now we see it sees one at the moment, so both of those have to be orange. But what number is this? It's one, two, three. So it's an orange tree next to a blue three, and it doesn't matter where the regions go, that's not allowed by the puzzle. And this is massive, because now all of a sudden I know that this square is orange. I know this square is blue, and that's going to be fascinating, because now that's a four region. So it can't be the three. So that's five. That's three. These two squares now have to turn blue. Which means this comes down here. Which finishes the clue at the top. So all of those get ringed with blue. This is blue at the bottom. This clue here is a five. Because it sees five in the column. Can't join up to that. So that's got to be orange. This, this is finished, this five. So all of those go in. This was the iteration that I thought was right before. Now, what's, uh, that's one of each. But suddenly, it feels doable again, doesn't it? This is very exciting for me. 5-5 uh, five, five go into the grid. Um, come on. Well, this, this is most certainly not blue. I've learned that lesson. This blue cannot connect to the Great Wall of Blue or the Great Sea of Blue. 
We've sort of got a Caspian Sea amount of blue in the middle of the grid that we mustn't connect to. Now, what does that mean? This is part of the five. I mean, who knows? I mean... Now we're just going to just going to die again, aren't we? With trying to work out what all these new arrows mean that we've not thought about before. What's this? This is if it's orange, it's at least four. Which actually no, it's if it, that's interesting. If it's orange, it's actually at least five because it's going to be part of a Z pentomino. It couldn't be a five because it'd be touching a five. Right, okay, I've now revised this three times. If it's orange, it's at least six. Now, can it be six? Only just. It can only... No, it can't. No, that's it. It's blue. Good grief. Right. This cannot be orange for weird reasons, many of them different. So if it's orange, we can see it's counting four at the moment. But if making this orange puts it in a region size five, that doesn't work. It can't be size five orange because it's next to a five. If we make it six, both of these have to be orange. But that makes this region a six region. It's only allowed to be three or four. So this has to be blue. And if it's blue, it's counting four at the moment, but maybe some more as well. So it's at least a four. Um, now. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, I can see it. if it's a five, it could be a, a U pentomino of blue. That would make this. Could that be a three with that? I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure that would necessarily tell me what this one was. Although that has no, hang on, that's at least a two, isn't it? So it can't be an isolated cell. So I think if this was a U pentomino of blue, making these both orange, this would have to join orange and it would be a six. Orange six here, is that possible? Maybe. I haven't ever actually understood how big this grid is. 12 by 12, is it? Okay. So, mm, so 6 is a very average distribution. Um, is there any other reason that this can't be double blue? Very much not, I think. Is it possible? Well, actually, this, hang on, I've had another thought. One, two, three, four. Is it possible these are both orange? No. So this is a, this is at least a five, actually. Which give, means it's more, than, it's more likely than ever to go and touch this one. How does it not touch this one? Maybe that's, a, that's the question to ask. Now, if this doesn't touch this five, it's got to be those cells exactly. And why is that a problem, one might ask. And I haven't got a good answer for you. Um, I'd love to know why that doesn't work, but I think that can work as well. <laughs> uh, would that do anything... Two, three, four. At least one of those is blue. Five. I suppose. I suppose we can. Maybe we can just say this is five, though. It can't be more than five, can it? Oh no! Could it be six? One, two, three, four. If both of these are blue, then it would be a six. But then there. Oh, then it couldn't get out. That's clever. Yeah, if it's a six region, there's not enough space for it. So it is a five region. The only question is whether it joins up with this five or not. But anyway, it must make that that blue. Because even if it tries to suck itself into the corner there, that square is always blue. So this is a one or a two, but I think it could be either, either, either size. So it probably it depends upon 
Does it depend upon what this digit is? It does depend on what this digit is, doesn't it? If that's blue... If that's blue, do I know it joins this or not? Yes, I do. So if this is blue, it's a 5. And if it's orange, it's at least a 4. But that means this 5 hasn't got enough room. So this is going to become a 6. Right. So this is a f it's either a blue 5 or an orange 6. And then it sees two, it sees two of each digit, doesn't it? Before we get here. Well, that, oh, hang on. That can't be blue. <laughs> if that's blue, this glue is massive. So that is an orange digit. So if this was orange six, it's seeing three here. If this is orange six, this would be a three clue. That's what we can say, because there needs to be three more oranges in this gap to complete this six clue. Whereas if this is blue five, one, two, there's going to be three more blues along there. And this square is going to be, I want to say a four, but I might be wrong about that. It's blue five. <laughs> um, it sees two there, so it's got to see three more there. No, it's still, this is still three. <laughs> I'm going mad. It might always be three, this. I'm not sure. I'm getting tired now. It's quite a long video. If this is, let's just do this again. If this is orange, if this is orange, we know it's orange six. It sees three, so it must see three more here. So that makes this clue a three. If it's blue five, it sees two here. So there are three blues in this region which means there are three oranges in this region, which makes this a three. So this is, this is always a three. Now, what's this? Do we know? Maybe it can't be orange, maybe, please. If it's orange, it's a three, but it's, it's seeing more, more than that. So that's not right. So this is blue, which means this is orange. Now we can't join up here because that would make that region too big. So that's got to turn and that finishes. Wow, here we go. Here we go, we're getting there. We're getting there. Now, this, this number is counting blues in the column. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this doesn't feel right, does it? That's six already. So it's six or seven, depending on what the digit beneath it is. Well, it's six or seven. It's not one, is it? So it's got to, we've got to go down. Now, if this is six or seven, it's not bumping into five. So that means it's going this way and this has to grow this way. So that's the five done, look, which means that this, well, it means both of those are orange. And now we know that this is got to be orange. So they, these all became six at the end of the day. Now, that doesn't, I don't think, determine this digit because we've already determined it. So that becomes a one. This has to, this has to be orange to stop this growing. So that becomes a two. Now, have we, is this resolved somehow now? Because I don't understand how I'm ever going to resolve this if it's not already resolved, which is a slightly worrying thought. So this was a five in the end. One, two, three, four. So exactly one of the, so this is like one of each. I can't remember, was that, was that my green color? I think it was. So this is one of each. But this one, I just don't know. I'm not sure. This 
is one of each. If that's orange, this is blue. Isn't that going to give me? Has that going to give me two ones here? That maybe that's the point. If this is orange, that's blue. That's what we've now established as a result of this five. But this, those two, both seem to have to be ones to me. So that can't be right. So it must be the other way round. So that's orange and that's blue. And now that's a two region and that's a three region. Now, does that tell me what this is? I have a feeling it doesn't. I hope it does, but I don't know that it does. At the moment, we're seeing... Oh, it does. It does. It does. Because if that's orange, that's a two blue left behind touching another two blue. So that's got to be blue, making the biggest blue region you've ever seen in your life. So this blue region, which is at least now finished, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and six. Twenty. It's a twenty region. Wow. OK, so how can I do that? I don't think this is going to work, is it? Ah, I knew it was going to do that. Right, so we've got to go, we've got to do the hybrid version. That's how it's going to look, <laughs> the 20s. Um, now, what does that tell us about the world? I've still got two arrows to use. Oh, and this clue is now a six or a seven, which is remarkably large. Okay, <laughs> which clues, if any, have we not used? Have we used that six or is that, I think that just collapses into this three, doesn't it? So this section of digits here is two of each color, I think. It's got to be two more oranges and two more blues. But if either of these was orange, no, I'm, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong in what I was about to say there. I was worried about that. I know this has to grow slightly. So if that's orange, that couldn't be. Those would both be blue, wouldn't they? And these would both be orange. But if that's orange, then that's blue. Oh, that would create a sort of Loch Ness monster of size seven. I don't even know if that's possible, actually. Let me think about that. OK, let's let's try and work out whether we know which of these is which. So let's go with this one first. If that's orange, all of those have to be blue. And this has to, that doesn't work. There you go. That's immediately failing because this is a size one region. So we can't leave these, this alone at size one, which means it grows downwards. And this is a six or a seven. It's not a great big elephant region like that. That's not going to work. So actually the orange must go there. And I think that's still going to be powerful because now that's finished and I get a Loch Ness monster, which must be correct and full. And therefore we can hive it off with with the rest of it this is a five region uh, this is a one region so this can't be a one region and must grow so that's at least a three region um, now what does this mean don't know we've we are nearly there though I think it's very exciting we've nearly finished the puzzle and I think if I sit here long enough, I ought to be able to finish it now, which is something of a relief. Um, now, let me think. So I think it's this digit next, isn't it? What color is that? If that was a six, which is what it would be if it was blue, that would be surprising. Um, Now, if it's so, it's I so well, it is either six, isn't it? That's one possibility, or it's three. If it no, that's right, it's three. If it's orange, it is three. But if it was a three orange, both of those would then be blue, 
which would mean that the count of this square was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What? That can't be right. Is that really possible? Let me just fill that in for a moment. So I'm saying if this if this is orange, I'm saying this has to be blue, and which forces this to be blue. But I'm also saying that this 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll bob it, that works. That's going to be the correct answer, isn't it? That is going to be the correct answer. Because I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So the actual <laughs> the actual challenge changes is going to be to determine why. Okay, so that that's that's the correct answer. The wrong answer is going to be this being blue and a six. Now, if that's a blue six, why is that the wrong answer? I haven't got a clue. This clue is that is now. Well, does that mean this has to be a six? If this is orange, what's it? What's its count if it's orange? One, two, three. It's, a, it's an orange three. Well, you can't make this an orange three because there's no way of drawing it with this being a six. I mean, I mean, this six is going to have to is going to get to that cell, isn't it? somehow so it's, it's, it's not living leaving room for this to be orange so this is going to be blue in this iteration which means it's a blue six now if that's a blue six i think this square has to be orange um let's check that one two three four five six so this would be full that's going to have to be orange that's creating ah that's creating a region of oh that's broken it. That's why it doesn't work. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so you end up in this position where you are stymied. We are zugzwanged because whatever we do now doesn't work. Why do I say it doesn't work? Well, this at the moment is a size 6 orange region touching a 6 orange, a six blue region. So that cannot be the finish of the puzzle. Um, we know this is size 6, so this is the one that has to grow. Now, what does it grow to? It can't grow to a 7 because it's touching a 7. So it grows to be at least an 8. And if it grows to be at least an 8, um, that's a problem, isn't it? Because it's not going to leave enough cells behind for this to exist. It's going to take two more white cells and we, I mean it's actually going to cut it off but it, whichever two it takes it leaves behind only five for the for the six region so it's, it's wrong it doesn't work to do this this way round now that means so that was when this was blue six wasn't it now I'm just going to double check there's no other iteration of this is there if that's blue six that cannot be orange, can it? I'm just wondering whether it could do that. I'm just going to let me just think about that for a second. What would that be then? No, no, that's the reason it couldn't, that, that wouldn't work. Because this has the wrong count now, doesn't it? This sees three on the diagonal when it needs to be a two. Wow, it's so it's so intricate. So this we have worked out is in fact orange, and therefore it's three. Oh, that's the that's the Facebook coming FaceTime coming in. Right, can I finish this? These are both blue now, which makes this seven, which means these have to be all the seven in order to get to the right count which means that we do this, we fill this in, these become three, these become three, and that is, I believe, I don't know if the, the software will know, it did know. Oh, it's only been sold five times in 50 days. Well, that doesn't surprise me for a moment, it's rock art. 
<laughs> it's absolutely rock hard and it's mesmerizing, but it is not easy. It really is hard. I better pick up this call. Fist of fell, you're an absolute god. Loved it. Thanks for watching. Back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. <laughs>